Okay, so inside my kit, I have my one strokes and rainbow cakes on magnets on the back side. Now, I use these black towels just from Amazon that I got, and I layer them where there's some negative space between where my split cakes and rainbow cakes end and where this tray ends, because then when I close this up and wheel it around, it holds these a little bit tighter and I don't get them falling all over the place. If I don't do that, then when I open this up, I have a lot of split cakes laying down on the edge, which they've never gotten damaged, but I just like to know that they're not moving around. So that's my little trick for, for keeping them in place. I also then use these, so it's kind of a win-win. Now, when I get to event an event, I usually take my towels and I stick them over on my chair or I put them on the handle here. And then these little bags that come with your craft and go. You can do Velcro on these or magnet. I chose to do magnet on this one. I've got a piece of candy in here from Halloween. Um, and this is obviously some sponges, some daubers, and some um, random things like my smoothie blenders. I've got some business cards in there. So this one has magnets and I glued magnets to the outside of my case down here, which I will show you guys that if you can see that. I've got two magnets here on the outside that these then just clip right onto. Now I will say, I don't necessarily think that's the best scenario. Um, it took me a while to get them to magnetize on and then I used super glue and the super glue kind of slid down and peeled up part of um, the case on this side. So not the best solution, but it worked and it's the first thing I did to connect this to the outside. So. Um, so it's fine, I still use it. However, I have noticed too, if I go to reach into this and I pull a little bit too hard, I do pull it right off of that edge. So, so I mentioned I do use super glue. This one looks like I had used hot glue on it and it came off. So this is why I use super glue now because I feel like I have less issues um, with them popping off. So I obviously at one point had three on here and now it is not, but no big deal. It's still working with two. Okay. So moving on. I always have an extra mirror with me that I just keep in my case at all times depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going and that has magnets on the back. Um, I have another mirror that I actually bring with that is also has a magnet on it just to keep it steady in here and then I take this and I put it in my chair pocket however if you've seen some of my other videos or the one with my full kit I have a full mirror on the back of my sign so when kids are done getting painted I just send them right off out of the chair and go to the front um, of my booth to look at themselves which is pretty handy Okay, so when I get to an event, this is what I do. I typically take this tray off and then this is filled with my other things I need. This is another pouch that came with the Craft and & Go. And this time I chose to do the Velcro on it and then I put a piece of Velcro down here. I'll move the camera so you can see. This has my most popular stencils, the ones I use at every single event. Um, my lipstick applicators and some daubers in it and this one goes on this edge and velcros right there now again I like this a little bit better because I can pull on this a little bit and it's not gonna move so that works out for me a little bit better than the magnet one that is really easy to fall right off. So, word to the wise. Now, I also out of here have the rest of my stencils, 
which sometimes I need them, but I don't always use them. However, I like to keep them handy. So I put another piece of Velcro right under the handle here and I make sure those are out and ready if I need them. So that's what the bottom front of my kit looks like when I have all three of those patches out or all three of those pockets out. So back to the other things I bring with me. I like to have a stand for my brushes. So this is just a little plastic stand that I throw together when I get to an event. And this helps me because I like to keep a white and a black brush at all times. Ooh, that was loud. So I like to keep a black brush loaded with black and then a white brush loaded with white at all times. And this little guy helps me do that. Okay. So it's just a little plastic stand that your brushes can plop right in. And I usually, I'll show you what I do with that in a second. Now the other things that are in this well, this is a pretty deep well. You can keep a lot of stuff in here. I've got some extra white, some business cards, gum, my zombie skin in case I need it. This is a little container that I super glued, magnets to the back, and it has my, oh, I am klutzy today has my bobby pins in it. So I take this out and I'll plop it up there. I've got a kabuki brush in here. I've got some hand lotion. I have these little clip-on LED lights. So if it gets really dark at an event, which has happened, I can clip these up here and see, point them to what I need light, so those are helpful. I don't use them a lot, but every now and then. Let's pop right back on, so I keep those in the corner. I have my chunky glitter and some petroleum jelly that I'll use sometimes if it's a teenager that just wants something pretty and cool. And then I have a little gem case. Now I am not too into gems. I'm more of a painter than I am someone who applies gems. So I don't use this a lot, but I keep it in here just in case I need it. So, and then I got, I got these for body painting. Um, makeup wipes, because if you really do need to use these, um, or if you need to clean something off a kid's face, you really should use makeup wipes and not um, baby wipes, which I keep a pack of baby wipes either attached to my case, which I have this attached to my case, or attached to my chair at all times because I do use them, but it's not the best thing to use on a stranger's kid's face. So I always keep these in here, a palette knife in case I need to do something with a split cake or... Um, make something really quickly. So that's what I usually have in here. Um, when I get everything out of here that I need, I will put my tray back like that. And then I take this section, which has all of my star blends underneath. And I take that and I put it up onto its side. I do have two magnets here glued onto the hinge of the craft and go that this magnetizes to. And then it just kind of wedges itself down in to the groove of the case. So this is something I just got from Target. It's a little container that I keep in my chair pocket and I always plop this up here and I kind of push it. Okay, so I always take this and I push it right up to the side here to keep this from flopping back and forth so much. And then I'll usually, this will usually end up kind of down here by the time I'm done organizing everything. So this is where I will usually pull out 
those popular stencils and I'll just keep them in here. And then as I'm sponging, you know, as I'm using a sponge and I know I'm gonna use it a hundred times, I'll stick it right up there. So it's kind of like a quick reach container for me. So the next thing I do, this is the water container that I use for events. It is a dog bowl off of Amazon. My husband drilled some holes in the center of it for me so that I can keep brushes in here as well. So I plop that open. I have a transparency sheet over my repotted paint in this well just to keep anything from coming off. Sometimes, you know, crumbles will fall out and it makes your case messy. Also, sometimes the entire thing will, you know, entire pot of paint will, will come out if it's a new thing that you've just pressed in there. So I have it in this plastic tray that's also from Craft & Go that you can cut to size. So I usually just put my transparency back in. I keep my squirt bottle here as well. I move this to this side. I take one of my towels and I put it in the bottom tray. I put my water container down, my squirt bottle right there. And then I take the little container I put together with brushes and put them right in front of my foam brush container. So now that I have this, which this is magnetized as well, I have magnets on the bottom of this so that they don't, it doesn't move too much around. So I'll usually put my squirt bottle right here. This pouch stays here, but this is where my um, glitter is, my Mayron powder. If I have a girl who wants something really glittery and gold, this is fabulous. I like to use that. I do keep it in a little plastic bag because it tends to get everywhere. And I will usually pull out at the very least my silver holographic glitter in one of these that is awesome for spraying glitter if you've not used these. I am not that glittery or gem of a person, so this is awesome for me because it's super easy. So I keep this out. I have some extra um, gem glue just in case I do need it. And then I have my super glue that I keep in here so that if my magnets do plop off, I have something to reattach them. I usually keep a couple extra magnets hidden down here in the corner too, just in case I lose one or all of a sudden a split cake isn't up there anymore. So then the next thing I do is I usually pick two or three of my most popular one strokes or split cakes that I know I'm gonna use a hundred times and I do pull them down here. So for me, the rainbow will get used a hundred times. So I usually stick that right in front of my main paint um, let's see the rose this guy that I use for the rose will get used and usually snakes for the boys so I'll usually just kind of pre prepare myself to use those and pull them down here um, after that that's pretty much my setup I go and I set up my sign I pull my chair out and there you have it. I bring a water jug with me filled with water. I fill these two container containers up with water. Um, I try to keep a light and a dark. And like I mentioned before, I will usually take two liner brushes, like a three and a two. And the first one I use for white becomes my white brush and I plop it right in here or I'll leave it in these. And then the one for black will also go in there. And that way I am not rinsing them out. I'm just pulling a little bit more water in. Same thing with the rainbow. I have multiple uh, one inch brushes. Though if I use this one for the rainbow the first time, this is now my rainbow brush. So I'm not cleaning out a lot in my water. Um, I will, I do have one of those, um, oh, what is it? Let me find it. So I do have a rinse well that I do really like this, but it doesn't hold a ton of water. So I feel like you have to use it um, sparingly. Sometimes, depending on what kind of an event it is, I will have this here so that I can have clean water and use the dog bowl and then try to like, you know, shove this in here. But 
I do have one that is half this size for the dog bowl. <laughs> um, so sometimes you can do that. Let's see if I can make that so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So I'll bring my half sized one of this and put it in the side here and then have my rinse well and my brushes. But most of the time, if it's an event that I know I'm gonna need more water than what this will hold, I will bring my jug of water and this. And then when this gets dirty, I just dump it out and refill it. So let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a cell phone case that I have glued magnets on the back of, a super cheap one from Amazon. So when I get to an event, I usually take my phone out and I plop it in here and that way it's just easily available to me. I can check the time really easily and I can also set an alarm so I know when I need to start cleaning up. If it's a timed event and I'm supposed to be gone at a certain time, it gives me some preparation. This I have Velcroed in. This foam is from Craft & Go too. I actually started with something different and then this is what I have recently changed to and I like it. It keeps everything really nice and sturdy um, and good. I do imagine I'll have to replace it at some point because it's foam and it just gets kind of messy, but it stayed pretty clean so far. So let's see what else. I have my little Q-tip container that I put magnets on as well just in case I need to correct something on someone. So that's always handy and just stays ooh, just stays right there. Um, like I mentioned, I at first had hot glued all of my magnets on, but they just started coming right off. So I switched to super glue. I know some other people use maybe Gorilla Glue or there's some, some glue I see people mention in some of the uh, forums, but, but so far super glue is working for me. So so that's it, that's my kit, that's my setup. If I'm doing this in an event, um, it does not take me very long. My star blends up here on the, on the side, which I don't use as much, but they're readily available if I do. And to pack it all up is really simple. I will say that this is one of the smartest things that I purchased as a face painter. When I was just starting out at events and one of the most frustrating things for me was having to spend, you know, 30 minutes to an hour getting set up and then packing away was so hard when all your supplies are dirty. Um, and I was really nervous about buying this. I'll pack this up while I'm telling the story so you can see how long it takes me. I was very nervous about buying the Craft & Go and my heart skipped when I actually had to pay for it. However, it paid for itself the first event I did. I do not regret it at all. Um, so then I'll take my water container in here and then this pulls out all my star blends. And then I just pull up that right on top. Take my container apart. Put all my stuff away. So if you're considering getting this, I hope this video helps you because when I was thinking about getting it, of course I watched everything I could on craft and go containers and what people were saying about them and any video I could find. Oh, sorry, that was loud. I watched every video I could find, every post, every Instagram, and I never felt like it was enough to really <laughs> convince me that I should buy one. So I always thought I would make videos one day when I had my face painting stuff figured out so that I could help other people. So take my stencils down and plop them in there. Put this. I need to put another magnet on the back. The one fell, so it's not fell off, so it's not sticking very well. But okay. 
So that's it. I'm basically packed up. And when you are trying to get out of an event quickly, that is crucial. And you can not only help finish up quickly and clean up quickly, um, but if you're trying to get people out of your line, you can really quickly get this put together and be like, oh, sorry, I'm done. When you're still putting stuff in bags and all your paints are out, people will not leave you alone, which if you do events, you know is true. Um, so that's it. So I go ahead and I plop those down. I could lock them if I want to, but like I said, I never really do. I have yet to make a sign for the back of mine, but I do have chalk markers that if I am going to a specific event or if I think I'm going to be at a weird angle and I want this to say face paint, I will write directly on this and then wipe it off and we're good to go. So that's that's my, my kit. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions or want to see more of something, please let me know um, because I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.